the boys are back. Gotta do it again, gotta wake up the neighborhood. Welcome back to our channel. We're here with a little bit of a different video today. We've never done one of these. Mm. Obviously, they've been on YouTube for years. Years. Yes, back in Zinger. And we've been wanting to do it for a while. A while. <laughs> you would have seen by the title. Title. <laughs> There's enough of that. That we are going to be recreating celebrity outfits today. This is really exciting. I actually have watched these videos, like I said, for years. And I used to watch Tess Christine's Gigi Hadid lip books all the time. And I always, always used to try and recreate them because I used to be so obsessed with Gigi. No. Still am. But um, yeah, we picked some of our favourite celebrity inspired look. Well, no, celebrity looks. They're not inspired, they're them. Wow. Yeah, we are, are inspired by them. We're inspired. We are the inspired. So we thought that we would recreate them for you guys and for ourselves because we wanted the challenge. We wanted to see if we could do their looks on a budget because pretty sure they would have cost a lot more than we paid. Yeah. We'll let you guys know where everything's from. We'll try and link it all down below. And obviously, if you like this, we can carry on doing it because. Mm -hmm. I think, obviously we've not seen the outfits, but I think we've both smashed it. Yeah. We've tried our best mm -hmm. and yeah, we're going to try it all on. Obviously we'll pop up the pictures that we've got the inspo from and you can compare. Yeah, let us know how you think we get on. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up because we'll be able to tell if you guys want more of these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video. Let's turn into celebrities. Who are you going to be? Kylie. Okay. Who are you going to be? I'll we'll be Hayley then. Okay. You want to be friends? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, I'm wearing all oh, okay. Hats. Yeah, so I was going to be Kylie Jennifer. I'm going to be Mrs. Hayley Beaver. Oh, wish. You need a ring. Okay, so I'm Hayley Beaver. Let me talk you through. So I'm actually going to put this bag down, but in the actual images, which we'll put on the screen now. And maybe I'll stand to the side so they can be on the screen throughout. But... She's carrying a paper bag, so talk about taking the look to the next level. Although I don't think she was probably carrying a Primark bag. <laughs> we can wish. How do you think I did? Elle's not even seen the real pic, so I want Elle to go through and see how she how she thinks I did. Yeah. You've got the earrings, the little bun too, and even the hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the boots. I like it. Yeah, so let me talk you through. I actually is... think your jacket looks nicer than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will link everything in the description, but let me talk you through. So of course I had to see the Queen, Mrs. Bieber. She is literally a fashion icon, living legend. If you type in on Pinterest, celebrity style, all that comes up is pages of her. And had to recreate this. I love it so much. I do think that this look was actually late last year, but this is still very much in. I got this blazer from the new in Zara. I'm obsessed. Just a beautiful leather Zara jacket. This t-shirt dress. She actually had writing on hers. I can't really see what it said, but I got as similar as possible. This is from Ellie Jocelyn's line with Pretty Little Thing. It says, I am enough. One thing I struggled to see was the bag that she had. I could see that it was a black bag. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it looks like it would be a lot more expensive than this. I just picked up a little black bag that I had. This is super cute, it's from Oh Savage, I think. Oh So Savage, an Instagram boutique. Like I said, all the actual information will be linked down below. Let me talk about these boots. These so, boots are made for I found her legit boots from Jacquemus and they were about 800 pound. These are from Public Desire and they actually have the same little, like, feature on the hill but obviously the whole point of her Jacquemus boots is that they do bag over and there's like a baggy effect but you know I am obsessed with this outfit it's a very oh just lo I, I love everything she wears and yeah what do you guys think of this outfit my sunglasses actually I found these in my drawer. These were some rows I could buy into hers. I think these are just from Primark. And then my earrings are a little bit smaller than hers, but still very similar vibe. These are from Balenciaga and I had these already. And yeah, I think you smashed it. First Woo! one, love it. Very, yeah. very cool. If you walk down the street to be fair like that, I think people would be like, is that a celebrity? Yeah, I feel it's like you, celebrity, you know it? yourself if you dress like this. Yeah. 100%. It's yeah. confidence is key. Oh, 100%. And would I be able to wear it? I think. Not round here. No, no, no. 
around London, but if we went to an event, walking around in London, yeah, yeah. Going, popping into events. And these hills aren't actually that uncomfortable. No, I thought they would be because they're a point. But I'm so here for this outfit. What do you guys think? Love it. Okay, my first inspired look is like I said, Miss Kylie Jenner, and I'll show you the picture. But she is basically just walking down the street in a long dress, which is actually my kind of style. So I really like the outfit. It's a white slash creamy maxi dress. And this whole outfit is actually from Pretty Little Thing. Because, yes, like the closest I could find. And she's got on a shirt. I think the shirt is like blue and white. I don't know. It might be black and white. But I could only find black and white pinstripes. But to be fair, I don't think it could be either. Can't really see. Um, and she's just tied it up around the dress like that. And she has a Chanel bag on, but obviously wasn't gonna get that for the video. Uh, it's like an off-white yellowy colour. So that's what I found from Pretty Little Things. Something really similar, just a shoulder bag, that kind of size. This is the full length of the dress, and yeah, like I said, I think it's a really cute casual look. And she paired it with some Converse, high top Converse which I think are the Dior ones. <laughs> and again, obviously, couldn't find those, but I will show you these ones up close. From ASOS, and they just say Converse, but it's the same kind of style in terms of like see-through almost. So yeah, I think these shoes are actually such a good dupe for the designer ones because I've not seen these ones before and they're really cute, but this is the whole outfit. I really, really like it. Have you seen the picture? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it is really good. But yeah, this is the first one and I really like it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep all this stuff. I really like the outfit. Okay, my next outfit is this. It is Madison Beer. Literally gone to all extremes and I've got the mask on, but I will take it off because it's hot and yeah, it was just for the sake of the pack pick. But this was her outfit. I literally am sure I've got it pretty much bang on, apart from the coloured Converse, which we'll get to in a sec. I love this outfit. It's so simple, but really trendy, and it shows off her cute little figure. I'm obsessed. Both this top and these jeans are from Weekday, and she has a Louis Vuitton backpack on, but for now, we're going to have to deal with my bum bag, so I imagine there's two straps here. And it's basically a bum bag. I actually didn't realise when I was selecting her outfit that she had sunglasses on. I think where I was just looking at the mask, I forgot. And I don't have any like that. But you can find sunglasses like that probably on ASOS or anywhere. Let's talk about the Converse then. So I actually have the black high tops that she has on. Can't find them for the life of me. I think they're in the loft somewhere. Because I put all my winter stuff up there. And I just haven't got it out yet. But I do have these cream converse which I thought went really well as well so I just gave it my own little stamp and I think it still works but obviously if you want black converse you can get them anywhere ASOS office converse actual website these jeans actually fit the exact same length as hers I wouldn't be surprised I can see a label actually but I was gonna say I wouldn't be surprised if they're from weekday but maybe hers a designer but these are a really good alternative I think this is such a cool little outfit so yeah, that is Madison Beer. We're actually saying a lot of celebrities dress really, really, really basic nowadays. <laughs> so trying to think outside the box is hard, but I didn't, I tried to not go for like simple blue jean. I went for stone and I think this is so cute. Little disclaimer, I'm not claiming to be Bella, Bella Hadid. I'm not claiming to look anything like her. This is purely just the outfit. Obviously she's got short black hair <laughs> and I've got long blonde hair um, and it is in a beanie so I'm trying to tuck it away as much as possible but yeah this is the outfit it's very cute it's like winter um, chic and yeah I'll put it on the screen she has this really nice fitted black cardigan on and she's just done up the top few buttons and it looks like she's not wearing a bra so I've not got one on either and the other buttons just kind of hang and then she's got some pinstrap trousers on. Couldn't actually find any with black pinstripes so these have like orange pinstripes so that's quite a big difference but they're still the same sort of trousers. They go down a lot longer than hers, but I've just kind of tried to tuck them up a bit. 
and she just wears some black boots which I already had these are from Ego I think and yeah I just think it's a really kind of like gothic cool outfit trousers and the cardigan are from ASOS and also the beanie she does actually have a Calvin Klein beanie on which I did manage to find but it's the writing's red so it's not the same but I just found this LA one with white writing like her one and it's actually really cute and I feel like Bella would wear this so we're just gonna pretend that she would it's more tucked up like that I think yeah what do we think how did I do I like it do you like it yeah it's cute it's quite um I've always wanted to try the half unbutton cardigan trend but I'm scared I'd slip a boob out yeah me too but you know what it's quite secure is it because where it's fitted it's kind of holding you in place but yeah, obviously we've chosen outfits that we'd be potentially comfortable in and so far so good I feel like I'm actually gonna get more inspo from celebrities more often. Oh my god. Sorry guys She is holding a black bag as well. Just oh, over, I like that. Oh, just over her shoulder. I have that bit in mini. Do you? Yeah, we had it in an ASOS video. Yeah, and it's actually from ASOS. To be fair, they have loads of That's the style. That's convenient size. Isn't it nice? Yeah, she's hurrying you can't really see the bag but you can see it's just like this kind of length and black and yeah to be fair this completes the outfit so sorry about that but this is the final look okay final outfit and me holding my phone and my keys <laughs> it's just the item on the cake she didn't have a bag so oh what did you say put on the screen i'm doing Hayley again i don't know if that's you we didn't actually discuss when we come up with this i did have in my head to do a different celebrity but I am such a Hayley Bieber fan and also I had this outfit in my wardrobe so I just wanted to show you that I do actually base quite a few of my outfits off celebrities anyway, Hayley in particular and controversial but um, Selena Gomez, <laughs> love Justin's girls. How cool is this? So I can actually see that Hayley's wearing a champion jumper but I had this like I said this is from SLA the label which is Sarah Ashcroft's brand and also so these cycle shorts super easy so comfy this is how i dress on a day-to-day -day. and she actually bases a lot of her outfits off of princess diana and she actually did a cover for vogue with them which i think it was a spread for vogue and she had so many like big baggy like uni jumpers and cycle shorts and it was just so cool and i love it there's not much to say about this it's just so simple easy and effective the trainers have been a mission. So I've got on Oswego's and these are in the white and nude kind of colourway. I can't tell if she's wearing Adidas Falcons or Oswego's or another brand. I just could I looked. I couldn't find anything similar. So I have my own gym trainers on. And I still think it looks really cool with it. Yeah. I love, love it. this outfit so much. It's so easy. And that is my final celebrity inspired outfit. Oh, and the sunglasses are pretty similar, even if I do this for myself. And these are, again, I had these upstairs in my room. These are Key Australia. My final outfit and the final one of the video. I don't know if you guys are going to guess who this is, but it is actually Rita Ora. And I love Rita Ora. We both love her. I think she's so cool. She's like an English version of Rihanna and yeah i think she dresses really cool this is quite a different outfit um a little bit out of a comfort zone i'd say because it's never something i'd probably put together but obviously it's the whole point of the video it's the whole point of experimenting as well to see what we like but i got everything on asos i actually already had this top which is just like a thermal roll neck uh white top these trousers from asos they're like suit trousers quite tailored and then she's wearing some white boots. And these are also from ASOS, another brand. I can't remember the name. And they're just like point boots. They're really nice quality, actually. It's a very classy outfit. Sid said it reminds her of Julia Roberts. And maybe that's where Rita got the inspo. And then this is just like a long line black blazer. It's really nice, actually. You could wear it as a coat. But she's worn it like that. She's like tucked it up so you can see the white top underneath. And her hair's a mess, so that's good because so is mine. It's not a mess, but it's just wavy and curly and it's just kind of all over the place. And that is it, pretty much. Like I said, it's not something I would ever usually choose, but 
I like how it looks. It's good to try something I new. think you can tell when someone's got a stylist. Yeah, like someone's paired this together mm. and it does actually say that she's on New York Fashion Week. Ah. So she's obviously had the outfits planned. I think she's just stepped out. Um, Can I take my Sainsbury's? But some celebrities do, so you never know. This is the outfit. Very cool. I look like I'm about to go into a business meeting. We ended up looking complete opposite in the end. Honestly, I look like I'm about to go do a marathon and you look like you're about to turn into Beyonce and slay the world. I love it. Okay, hearts. we're here for it. But please do let us know if you enjoyed this video and what your favourite look is. And if you think we did well, we were literally just saying off camera, we so hope that you do enjoy this video because yeah. we have had so, so much fun making it and putting it together and doing the process of picking all the outfits. It's been like old times when we see videos back in the day. Yeah. Isn't it? I feel like as well, if we do this on a regular basis, we're just going to have the best outfit in the Coolest spot. outfits ever. Just ready mm. to go. Mm. Like... The inspo is going mad at the moment. Honestly, we will try and link everything in the description box if we can find it. If not, we will link similar. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We love Thank you. you for watching. Oh, tell us some more celebrities that you want us to copy. Because yeah. Apparently, my brain won't go past Hayley. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We love you. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.